Welcome back to Insight. Life is better here in Columbia City and Whitley County. And Passages plays uh, for a lot of people a key role in making life better here. We want to talk to uh, Jason and uh, Tammy. And good to have you back on the show. What Thanks. remind folks what you guys do? Well, Passages has been around since 1954, and we serve adults with intellectual and developmental disabilities here in Whitley County. So um, about 200 individuals we serve, and about 130 employees. Here. Yeah, and uh, doing some uh, life-changing work really for them and their families. Definitely, definitely. We have residential services, our Passages Creative Learning Center, and our Bridge 333 Art Studio, mm -hmm. which we'll talk about here today. So. Yeah. Well, let's talk. Let's jump right in. Which one do you want to go with first? Do you want to talk about the the Learning Center or yeah. the Art Studio? Um, well, the Learning Center, um, we moved in there in 2013, mm -hmm. and it's a really a smaller classroom style um, learning environment as well as we have a large art department, which you have some shots of our artwork as well. But um, in May, we started our Bridge 333 Art Studio, which uh, is an enhancement to all the cool programs we already do here at the Learning Center. So, so the Art Studio entails what? It's basically a collaboration of all of our clients, uh, the people that we serve are able to come in and choose to do what kind of work they want to do. We might have a few folks who maybe paint a background and then the, and other folks will move in and, and put life to that background. Or there's there's hand stitching, um, there's ceramics, there's, there's just all kinds of different choices that we bring that they're able to create and just, there, there's no wrong thing. Whatever they make is 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 their what their vision so uh and do you find art in general is is helpful is what's i mean why art art it's basically a way that they can can communicate you know maybe if we have somebody who's nonverbal, uh doesn't communicate with words they can put their thoughts and their ideas to to paper to to paper mache to to colors whatever that is and they're able to bring their life their thoughts their ideas to life through that and then what happens to the art after they complete it we sell it. Um, there, there are a couple different opportunities we sell. We, we post them in our Creative Learning Center. We uh, participate Art in the Alley and the Farmer's Market and different things here in town. And um, we have our art show mm -hmm. in March as well, uh, coming up here in March of 2018, where we'll have a lot of pieces on display for sale too. Other events coming up that we should uh, hit on here? Yeah, quite a few actually. Um, our website at passagesinc.org has a lot of them, but um, we have an open interview day coming up for our direct support professional staff here in August. And then we have a couple of fundraisers for our self-advocacy group at Dairy Queen and Pizza Hut as well. Hey, well, I mean, you buried the lead, Dairy Queen and Pizza Hut. I know. I mean, we're all there. <laughs> I'm the best for life. Yeah. Uh, all right. So uh, so if somebody is watching this and again is thinking, okay, I'd like to, you know, what do you need? Volunteers? financial support? What? How can people help? We would really love to have people who want to work with our folks who want to make a difference. I, I think that that's huge. Um, you, you, when you when you work at, at Passages, you walk away and feel like you've actually made a difference in somebody's life. And you can walk away at the end of the day and just feel like accomplished. And we would really love, you know, some folks who would be interested in doing that. And um, we'd love to have volunteers who would like to work with our, at our Bridge 33 studio, you know, collaborating with some of our folks to make art and make different ideas and thoughts. And that would be great. And again, you could visit our website, passagesinc.org, and we'll have that information listed. And How do you know, how do you know you've made a difference? Like, what's that feeling? What's that experience? The smiles, the hugs, the, the thank yous at the end of the day. Um, you, fast food restaurants, you don't often get that, but at the end of the day, you, you've got a person who come up and said thank you and, and gave you a hug and, and look up to you, and, and that's a great feeling. Yeah. It's a feeling of making a difference in someone's life each and every day, and it's, it's priceless. It's a worthy cause to support. It's a worthy cause to uh, invest in uh, as far as your time goes as well. It's passages, making a difference and making life better here in Columbia City and Whitley County. We'll be right back on Insight.